Welcome to St. Paul's Sunday School. Thank you for joining me all year for Sunday School. It is hard to believe that this is the last week of Sunday School already. This will be our, we will then go on our summer break and then we will return in September. I believe it's September 12th we'll start Sunday School and we will be back at the church hopefully and everything will be in person by that point is my hope. A couple of reminders, we still right now have three ways to worship. We have our YouTube service, our 8 a.m. communion on the lot service, and our 8.30 sanctuary service. Last night at church council meeting, they did um, agree that I believe the parking lot service will no longer be what it is now as of, I believe it's June 27th, but please listen for announcements during church and emails from the church will come to explain what changes will be coming the end of June. Um, this is our last Sunday school. Like I said, we do have in-person Sunday school this one last week, and then we will be thinking about um, Vacation Bible School. Vacation Bible School is June 21st through the 24th from 6 to 8 p.m. It is bolt totally 80s. I'm so excited about Bible School and being able to be in person for Bible School. If you haven't registered, please do so. If you know of someone that maybe doesn't watch Sunday School or a friend of yours that doesn't have a home church or a friend that does have a home church and would just like to join us for um, Bible school, that would be wonderful. Please get them the information and they can certainly register just like you did online. Now I have some items here. I have a balloon. I have this fun birthday napkin. Looks like it was an Elmo birthday theme at this, and Elmo has a birthday hat on. I have some candles. And then I have I have this. Oops, I'm not holding it right. I have this decoration that says, happy birthday. I don't know if you can see it the whole way. Happy birthday. That we could hang up and decorate with. All of those things we use to celebrate a birthday. We may decorate with the happy birthday sign and some balloons. We might put balloons on our mailbox or outside of at our door to make sure people know where to come for the birthday party. We have special, sometimes we get special napkins that maybe match our birthday cake or just special birthday napkins we can use. And we might have candles in our birthday cake or our birthday dessert, whatever that might be. So we're gonna be celebrating a birthday today. Kinda. And birthdays are celebrated in very different ways. Even you, so if you ask your friends how they celebrate a birthday compared to how I celebrate a birthday, it might be different. As an adult, we don't have too many birthday parties anymore. You know, my kids get me some cards, maybe a gift. They might sing happy birthday if there's a dessert around the house, but we don't have family. But for my kids, we invite the grandparents and the aunts and uncles and they have a birthday party with their family and hopefully we can get back to having some normal birthday parties in the near future i know the last year our birthday parties looked very different sometimes they were over zoom sometimes they were parades going in front of a house sometimes they were i know at my house we've kind of rotated through so not everybody was here at one time um but birth we're going to be celebrating a special birthday. Now, I know you often think about birthday and church, you think of Christmas because that's Jesus's birthday. But we're not celebrating Jesus's birthday right now because that's in December. What we're celebrating is the start of the Christian church. So the start of the Christian church is what is called Pentecost. And this on Sunday, 
because like I'm like I said, I'm record you always know that I record this earlier in the week, but Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. It is the birthday and the when the start of the Christian church. That's when we celebrate the start of the Christian church. And the Christian church, you might have family or friends that are Methodist or and we're Lutheran and Catholic and let's see, Baptist. They might just go to a, like you might have friends that go to GT or LCBC, which is a, they don't have a, those are all Christian churches, all different types of Christian churches, but we're all Christians. So it's the celebration of the start of the Christian church. So that is what we're going to be learning about today. So let's fold our hands and close our eyes in prayer. Dear God, Thank you for birthdays and parties and churches. Thank you for being with us today as we celebrate the birthday of the Christian church. Amen. Today's story takes place when the disciples were celebrating the festival of Pentecost. Today's story takes place in the book of Acts, which is in the, the fifth book in the New Testament. So it's right after the Gospels. Chapter 2, remember the chapters are the big numbers. And then it's verses 1 through 21. So I would love for you to read it in the actual Bible, those of you that are older. My younger readers or my younger students, you may follow along in the Spark Story Bible if you have it at home. It's on page 502 and it's called The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up and there was an amazing noise. They looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching him, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus promised. The disciples began to speak in different languages, languages they'd never learned. Stranger yet, they could understand each other. Peter stood up. I want to tell you about Jesus. He reminded everyone what Jesus taught them. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently, guided by God's spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. So, the Holy Spirit came to the disciples in this story. And when it came, do, do you remember the words in the story? It said a strong wind blew through the house and made an amazing noise. And they could just sense that something was different. It also looked like the disciples were being touched by flames, but yet they didn't feel any burning. The other thing they said was the people, the disciples could speak, each one was speaking a different language, a language they had never learned. So it would be like me. I, I took a, I learned a, I know a few Spanish words, but I can't speak Spanish. It would like be like me all of a sudden teaching in the language, in, in saying, but talking in Spanish and you being able to understand it. I don't know if any of you speak Spanish or not, but if you don't and you could understand it, that would be pretty amazing. And what was even more amazing is not, it wasn't just one different language, it was many different languages and they could all understand each other. So they knew that this was the Holy Spirit. And Peter told them that we need to remember and be guided by this spirit. And that was the start of the church. So we have our pamphlets. It should be the last pamphlet you have in your packet, if you've done them all. Our big packet, it's the Holy Spirit. You can always look at the verses here. Here is a birthday song. You can sing it to happy birthday and it retells the story. Put your big sticker there. Your small stickers go over here as always. On this, on this here, it says, here is my church. The Holy Spirit came to the disciples at Pentecost. With the help of God's Spirit, the disciples formed the first Christian church. 
Today, there are over 300,000 Christian churches in North America alone. That means North America is Canada, United States, and Mexico, basically. That's the area of North America. So all of that, there are over 300,000 churches just in that area. And you can draw a picture of the church. If you don't remember what the church looks like because you haven't been there for a really long time, if you check use the same YouTube channel and if you go to one of the YouTube church services, usually in the beginning of that, there's a photograph of the church or you can always take a drive and maybe walk around outside the church to get an idea of what it looks like or you can draw it however you remember it. And it says the name of my church is, and it would be um, St. Paul's Lutheran Church. My church is how many years old? I believe it's about 153, 54 years old. Um, and then it's, since my church began, we have had how many pastors? That one I have, would have to check. I know there are pictures of all the pastors down in the social room. So sometime, if you ever get into the church, you can look at all the different pastors from all the many years of our church. Over here is a little puzzle and you can count how many um, flames there are and get a special message. Of course, we can we put our stickers in that part. And then here are different ways to celebrate birthdays. At our church on Pentecost Sunday is usually when we have our confirmation students confirmed and become members of the church. And that will happen this Sunday. We have four new confirmation students that will be joining our church on Sunday morning. It's my son, Tommy, um, Isabel Santangelo, Taryn Seidel, and Kira Perkins are our four confirmation students. So if you know them, you can always send them a little card and tell them congratulations for getting through confirmation and becoming an adult member of the church. They're not adults in the world of in the regular world, but they are considered members of our church now once they are confirmed on Sunday. So that's a very special Sunday um, for those four and their family. So congratulations to all of you. Now, my younger kiddos, you have the story that explains it in more real life terms. This, if you look it up, you can unscramble the different languages and places those languages came from. Here's some fun facts about languages. Here, if you cut on this black line, just that one center black line, and then it will kind of become like almost like an accordion. And you can, it says, check out the tongue of fire following the cut, cutting directions, which I just told you, hang it at home on a light or a fan as a reminder that you have been touched by the Holy Spirit of God. And then there's always the faith on the go. Something I think it's such a nice, it, I, I know when I'm recording, it's a beautiful day today. It is also supposed to be a beautiful and pretty warm this Sunday. I think what I am going to suggest that you do is go outside and play some kind of birthday game with your family, whether it's a relay game or something that you might play at a birthday party, but celebrating the birthday of the church. And you can do that however you want. Um, and I hope that you will always remember that Pentecost is the birthday of the church. And then you all, at Christmas, that's Jesus's birthday. Remember, there are two different things. Jesus's birthday is in December. That's Christmas. Pentecost is the start of the Christian church, which is in June every year. Before we end, let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for teaching us about the Holy Spirit today. I thank you for helping us learn in this unusual way this year. I pray that each child has learned something from the lessons and helped and thank you for helping me prepare these lessons each week. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for an entire year of video YouTube lessons. I It will be something I will absolutely never forget doing this and I look forward to seeing you all in person 
either at Bible school or next year in Sunday school. Have a wonderful summer, everyone.